You heard the latest? Ooh, child, I knew that was true from the moment my auntie's friend's cousin sister told me. The Tug. Here's what's trending. In my opinion, think different TVs will sheer. What's up, everyone out there? This is Lashia, creator of Think Different TV, which airs Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Think Different TV's Player Pass Game Show, which airs Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Think Different TV YouTube channel. And this is In My Opinion with Think Different TV's Lashia. Let's get into it. What's going on? Tyrese Gibson had some old school inspiration for his Sunday performance of the National Anthem at the preseason game between the Los Angeles Rams and Dallas Cowboys. He wanted to recreate Marvin Gaye's rendition of the song when he sang for the Cowboys and the Oakland Raiders in 1974. Marvin is a tough act to follow. I stand on the shoulders of Marvin, Donnie Hathaway, Stevie Wonder, and many more. So what I'm going to attempt to do, and hopefully I don't fail at it, is hold hands with what Marvin Gaye did at the Great Western Forum, the singer told E.T. I think as an R&B singer, and a singer in general, and I think everybody will agree with this, there are two legendary anthem performances. It's Whitney Houston, and there's Marvin Gaye. That version of the anthem held hands with Lean On Me, and the Black National Anthem Lift Every Voice. Tyrese wore a black and white patterned shirt, a fringe vest, bell-bottom pants, and a wool cap, which was similar to Gay's signature look. The Sweet Lady Singer also topped off the look with a toupee and a faux beard. He said he actually had that look for his video Wildflower, dedicated to his late mother. His look and performance got mixed reviews. Responding to a post that said he failed miserably at emulating gay, Tyrese wrote, Respectfully, I don't really know if I agree. Few bad notes? Meh. That's an open mic for you. God is the greatest. We live in the best country in the world. And I really, really tried, he added. He also recently posted a video of him sadly walking away from iHeart Studios with the caption, DJ Envy wouldn't let me in. I'm still here stuck at the door. I guess the Breakfast Club don't want me to tell anyone about hashtag beautiful pain. Well, in other news, chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna. A former food service director at a school district in the Chicago area has been sentenced to nine years in prison after admitting she stole $1.5 million worth of chicken wings. Vera Liddell, who served in the director role for Harvey School District 152 near Chicago, is incarcerated at the Cook County Jail for theft and operating a criminal enterprise. She pleaded guilty on August 9th to the charges and got a nine-year prison sentence. She stole the mounds of meat intended to be take-home meals for students learning remotely during the COVID-19 pandemic. Liddell's job involved placing orders with Gordon Food Services, a main supplier for the school district, prosecutors said. She placed the orders and did the billing, but kept the chicken wings between July 2020 and February 2022. Between August and November 2021, Liddell ordered more than 11,000 cases of chicken wings from the food provider and then picked up the orders in a district cargo van. The massive fraud began at the height of COVID during a time when students were not allowed to be physically present in school, read a proffer presented at Liddell's bond hearing in 2023, according to WGN. Even though the children were learning remotely, the school district continued to provide meals for the students that their families could pick up. The chicken theft operation was discovered in 2023 when an audit found that the district's food service department exceeded its annual budget by $300,000 halfway through the school year. 
The business manager for the district then found the invoices for the chicken wings, which was odd because it is a food item that wouldn't be served to students because they contain bones. Kansas City Chiefs player Chris Jones offered to pay for the chicken to get her out of jail, but until then, she's waiting in the wings. In my opinion, free Auntie Vera. Okay, okay, I know it was fraud, and she did wrong. She was the Illinois Robin Hood, robbing Harvey to feed the shy. Nine years is what I can't get over. A nonviolent crime, and she was a first time offender? Who was her lawyer? She pled guilty to one theft charge. Ridiculous. I know of people doing violent crimes getting less time. Matter of fact, lock Tyrese up for being a pain in my butt. One thing he gonna do is overdo and cry. I'm so tired of him. Tyrese can sing down, but his antics are overshadowing the talent he has. Why couldn't he just sing his version of the Star Spangled Banner? I don't think black people should do that song anyway, but that's besides the point. He is having a midlife and identity crisis all in one. Tyrese, you are not Marvin Gaye. You should not be writing someone else's legacy. Create your own. This was your chance to have your moment, but you played dress up and then you played yourself posting about DJ Envy and Breakfast Club. All this to promote your new album? I'm so irked. And that was, in my opinion, with Think Different TV's Lashia, What's Yours?